this was a speech uh, uh, to the public, but designed for his Democratic colleagues in the House and the Senate. The Massachusetts earthquake, uh, the special Senate election, has uh, absolutely terrified Democrats in, in Congress, and uh, uh, they are, uh, uh, as he pointed out, uh, running for the hills rather than uh, stiffening their spine and, and trying to work in a very difficult political environment on a, on a very tough set of issues. Uh, as many gestures as he made to egg on uh, or invite Republicans to join in, it's clear from his first year of experience he expects no such thing. And so this was really very much uh, a matter of stopping the panic on the Democratic side of, of the aisle. Uh, uh, the speech, we can, we can agree or disagree. I'm sure we'll all have different opinions of it, but I was struck by the, uh, the self-confidence, the, the degree of comfort of being up there in very difficult times. I didn't see any panic or apology other than I didn't do a good enough job uh, uh, getting uh, my, uh, my message across, explaining what was going on. I saw no... Uh, uh, no evidence that he's taking up the advice that he's got to swing back to the center. I think Massachusetts had almost nothing to do with ideology, nor did his speech last night show any indication of any change in ideology. It was really uh, much more a matter of uh, reiterating the broader arguments from his campaign and, and from his first year in office of trying to tie them together more and uh, what we now call a, a narrative, but it's, it's, it's hard to take a narrative away from 70 minutes of, uh, of spoken, spoken words, but you will see that be simplified now in the days and weeks and months ahead of time. But if, if anything, it was a stay the course uh, uh, presentation about we've thought long and hard about this. We we believe, uh, and I believe, uh, uh, this is uh, what we have to do.